Hi, this is T. Payton. I'm on Funnel Cut 10.2.3, and I wanted to show you some multicam syncing tips for when you don't have audio to sync with. And this is pretty cool stuff. So I got a project here that um, lots of cameras. We have six cameras plus a TriCaster already pre-switched, and then we've got um, all my LAVs isolations as well. And uh, so lots of stuff that we need to sync here. Audio, obviously audio shouldn't be a problem because we're syncing audio to audio, but what about these video angles that are here? Well, let me show you a couple of uh, things you can do to help uh, move this along a whole lot faster. So first of all, you can see I've got this gap here. Now, by the way, when I created this multicam um, clip, what I did is I had my audio here. Um, I'm sorry, my video here, here's my scene eight video, and here's my scene eight audio. I command select did those, or command clicked on them, which brought me both of those items. So then I can um, select them all, and then I can create my multicam clip. And then what I did here is I just turned off audio for synchronization. So what it uses then is time of day to get you kind of a ballpark of where you wanna be. So that's what I ended up with here. So. As you can see, there's a big gap here. And then also, this was off some JVC cameras. See there's a little gap that's like right in here. We need to rid need to rid ourselves of that to clean that up. So first of all, let's go, to, go ahead and get rid of those gaps. So what you wanna do, normally when you get to the angle editor, it's gonna switch to the P tool or the position tool. And you wanna change it to the select tool. And normally if you move it on the select tool, nothing's gonna happen. But if you go to the range that's on the previous clip, you'll see a little icon pop up. Watch this, a little icon, but a little hint. Okay, I don't know if you can even see this. If you look really carefully, there was a little blue line that popped up. Let me see if I can show you this here. Okay, look right here, look closely. See that blue line? Yeah. I guess the technique is to grab it here. See the blue, let's see. It's hard to see where that snaps because the cursor has to be there. It's kind of weird. You just basically drag uh, too far, and then it will snap right in there. Let's get this last one here. There we go. See how this works? It, go it goes quicker when you don't have to try to demo it. You're basically just dragging on that area, and then it gets rid of that gap for you, which is pretty cool. So, um, and I don't believe those gaps will show up. Oh no, we're missing a camera here. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's see. I don't believe those gaps will show up as gaps. Let's see. <laughs> I just, I'm looking at this going, uh, where's the other camera on this? This could be bad. Um, so let's see. A gap isn't going to show up, is it? Gap. No, a gap isn't going to show up in the angle editor. So anyway, so this is what you want to do. I'm sorry. See what I just did? I was in the P tool. And it just overwrote that, but I don't want to overwrite. Switch to the A tool and then get to that point and it will snap it right where it needs to be. Okay, great. So we have one more little hole to, to fix up here right there. And let's see, I think we'll have to do this one as well. Okay, just all the holes are gone. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, shoo. <laughs> I thought we lost that camera. Okay, so now... Um, First step of the process, this is great. But what we need to do is we need to find the slate and be able to navigate to that and match it up with everybody. So let's for first um, zoom in here. Let's look at our TriCaster. Let's set that. So TriCaster, it's just a switcher. That's what that is. So let's see if we can find that moment. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to that part. So I'm using movie slate. So I want the red. There we go. The first famer red. Excellent. So I'm just going to put a marker on that. And that is all I'm going to do. Because watch this. This next thing is pretty magical. So now I'm going to choose sync. Um, oops, I'm sorry. Choose this here. And I'm going to start sync to monitoring angle. This is very deceptive. This is like a mode. It is so cool. Let me show you this. Sync to monitoring angle. Up here, you're going to get a two-up display. Now, 
over here is the monitoring angle. And this thing is what you're skimming to, okay? And because you're in the mode, look what it's telling you. So skim to a frame and click to sync to the angle, the angle to the playhead. So now let's go ahead and find that position. You want to turn snap, you make, make sure you have snapping off when you do this. Okay, there's my red, I click. Okay, and now I just keep going. There's my click. Obviously, the time of day put me in the ballpark here. There we go. There. And look, I haven't done anything. I'm just, I'm just zooming. I'm just skimming around. That one's pretty faint. Okay, excellent. Now look at this. Everything is all uh, lined up. Let's open up the angle editor and see where we are. Let's see. Let's look at the intro so we can. Good followers of Christ. Okay. Um, but it, in starting in on that question, so, I'd say, well, how as you how can would see, Jesus the TriCasters synced up, respond. and this is synced up. Isn't that awesome? Um, that's just the coolest thing ever. I think that's really cool. So um, then, what I'm going to do? This is my monitoring angle. So here's the other kind of little tip. It's pretty cool. I want to sync all of these guys to that monitoring angle, and I can shift click th click them all. And then just on one of them, say sync selection to monitoring angle. And then it will do its thing and sync uh, all those clips. So you can actually do multiple syncing to monitoring angle. Boom. There we go. So um, anyway, enjoy. I hope uh, most of the time you have audio for doing multicam sync. But when you don't, uh, make sure you slate it and make sure the camera can uh, see it. And Movie Slate's a great thing to use, and then you can uh, just go to town with an easy way of syncing. Enjoy!